Tonight in the town of Duxbury, the community plans to come together to try to begin healing after this week's tragedy there. A mother is charged with murdering two of her children and trying to kill her infant as well. WBZ's Anna Myler is in Duxbury today. Lindsay Clancy is still in the hospital, but officials say she will be arraigned on murder charges when she is well enough. Here at their home in Duxbury, people have been stopping by, leaving flowers and stuffed animals to offer their condolences. So sad for the people and the whole community. Like so many other community members, Frank is feeling the pain of what happened at this house. He stopped by this morning to leave flowers and reflect. Give all that Officials announced last night that 32 year old Lindsay Clancy is now being charged with homicide in the deaths of two of her children. Preliminarily, it appears the children were strangled. Officials say Lindsay also attempted to take her own life. When her husband arrived home Tuesday evening, he found her outside in distress and called 911. First responders found the three kids inside unconscious. Five year old Cora and three year old Dawson didn't make it. Their seven month old brother is at a hospital in Boston fighting for his life. The officers and firefighters who responded are now on leave and are being offered services to help them cope. I work with them every day. Um, I know a little bit of what they go through, but when they tell me it's the worst they've ever seen, well, it's going to have an impact. Right now, it's unclear when Lindsay will be arraigned. Legal analyst Jennifer Roman says once that happens, her defense team will start piecing together this puzzle and likely preparing for a trial. There has been an allegation that she was suffering from postpartum psychosis. Um, so I suspect that that's going to become a part of the defense team's defense, that perhaps she's not guilty by reason of insanity. There will be a candlelight vigil at the Holy Family Church at 7 o'clock tonight to pray for the Clancy family, their loved ones, and the first responders. Reporting in Duxbury, Anna Myler, WBZ News.